Chris Noth has denied sexual assault allegations from two women. The Sex and the City actor issued a statement to Access Hollywood following explosive and disturbing claims published by The Hollywood Reporter on Thursday, which he called, quote, categorically false. Both women, speaking under pseudonyms to protect their privacy, alleged to the magazine in separate accounts reportedly given months apart that Noth assaulted them in 2004 and 2015, respectively. According to THR, both accusers cited promotions surrounding Noth's appearance in the Sex and the City sequel series and Just Like That as triggering and what ultimately prompted them to approach the publication with their stories. The women are reportedly not acquainted with one another. The first woman, referred to as Zoe in THR, alleged that Noth flirted with her in 2004 when she worked at a high-profile Los Angeles firm where Noth did business. She was 22 at the time. According to THR, Zoe, now 40, went on to claim that upon visiting the pool at Noth's apartment complex in West Hollywood, he asked her to return a book to his residence where she alleged that he began to kiss her. She recalled initially kissing him back but claimed that Noth then moved her toward the bed, pulled off her shorts and swimsuit bottoms, and began to rape her from behind while facing a mirror, alleging to THR, quote, It was very painful and I yelled out, stop, and he didn't. I said, can you at least get a condom? And he laughed at me. Zoe additionally claimed that she saw blood on her shirt after the alleged encounter and that a friend of hers who lived in the same complex insisted on taking her to the hospital, where Zoe claimed that she didn't reveal Noth's identity to doctors or law enforcement in fear of possible repercussions to her career. The friend claimed to THR that Zoe's demeanor was noticeably different after she returned from Noth's apartment and that she wouldn't make eye contact. THR reports that Zoe's former boss at the LA firm also corroborated her account to the magazine, claiming that Zoe had told her about the alleged assault but asked her to keep it a secret. Zoe added that she sought counseling at the UCLA Rape Crisis Center two years later, which the clinical director reportedly confirmed to THR. The second accuser, referred to as Lily, recalled meeting Noth while she worked as a server in a New York City bar in 2015. She was 25 at the time and he was 60. Lily, now 31, claimed that she agreed to go on a date with Noth despite knowing he was married. He and wife Tara Wilson wed in 2012. Lily claimed that after going back to his apartment, Noth repeatedly tried to make out with her before allegedly pulling down his pants and thrusting his penis in her mouth. She alleged, quote, He was having sex with me from the back in a chair. We were in front of a mirror. I was kind of crying as it happened. I went to the bathroom and put on my skirt. I was feeling awful totally violated. All of my dreams with the star I loved for years were gone. A friend of Lily's whom she allegedly called afterward claimed to THR that she was quote hysterical over the situation. According to THR, Lily and the friend had slightly different recollections of an alleged voicemail Noth had left Lily. In an alleged 2015 text exchange obtained by THR, Lily reportedly told Noth that she felt quote slightly used after their encounter. The bombshell claims come shortly after Noth made headlines for reprising his role as Mr. Big in And Just Like That, which saw the character die of a heart attack after taking a Peloton class in the first episode. Noth refuted Zoe and Lily's allegations, claiming in a statement, quote, The accusations against me made by individuals I met years, even decades ago, are categorically false. These stories could have been from 30 years ago or 30 days ago. No always means no. That is a line I did not cross. The encounters were consensual. It's difficult not to question the timing of these stories coming out. I don't know for certain why they are surfacing now, but I do know this. I did not assault these women.